Now you can stay connected to key ACT Premium details when you're on the move with ACT Companion. ACT Companion is a mobile app designed for your Android or iPhone. With ACT Companion, you can get alerts for upcoming activities, you can easily capture notes during meetings, or you can call or email your ACT contacts directly from the app. Best of all, the ACT Companion app is free for everyone who has an active ACT Premium subscription. In this video, I want to show you how to download and install the ACT Companion app to your smartphone and then connect it to your live ACT Premium database. From ACT, if you're logged in to your ACT Premium subscription account, go to the ACT Connect area. From here, click the ACT Companion icon and then click the Get Started button. ACT will launch a web page for you that gives you some more information about the ACT Companion app. From here, you can choose whether you're going to install it on your iPhone or your Android device. You can also install the ACT Companion app directly to your phone without ever having to launch ACT. I'm going to show that to you now, and since I'm on Android, I'm going to begin by going to the Google Play Store. And from here, I'll type in ACT Companion. Make sure you select the one with the ACT logo, and just to verify it, it will be the only one offered by ACT Software. I'll tap that button, and then I will tap the Install button to install this to my phone. When installation is complete, all you have to do is connect your ACT database. So let's open the ACT Companion to see how. To make this connection, we only need to provide four pieces of information. First, the username for your ACT Premium database, and your password. On the next screen, we need to provide the server address URL and the name of your database. The name of my database is simple enough, but the server address URL depends on your environment. Essentially, this is going to be the URL used to access your database or from the ACT Connect screen in ACT Premium. There are three possibilities here. If you're using ACT Premium Cloud, you're going to want to log in to your database in a web browser. The URL of your database will be the URL you see at the top of the screen. It'll begin with HTTPS and it'll go all the way through to the end of your company name. If you're on ACT Premium for Web, you should have already installed the ACT Web API and also secured your web server using a certificate and SSL to secure your data while it's being transmitted. If you haven't set this up yet, none of the ACT Connect features will work, and you can find information on our knowledge base about connecting to your ACT Premium for Web database. If you're on ACT Premium for Windows, you will need to have first installed the ACT Connect link for this next bit to work. Instructions can be found on the right column of the ACT Connect screen. And once you've installed the ACT Connect link, look at the top of your ACT Connect screen for this gray area. Your database's unique URL will be at the top of the screen here. You may have to write this down somewhere. Then you need to go back into your phone and type that URL into the server address URL field. If you want, you can check this box to remember your server and database, and then click Login. Now, one common problem that users encounter with connecting is that they don't have the appropriate user permissions to make connections like these. So back in ACT, while logged in as an administrator in your ACT Premium database, here's how to ensure that your users have the correct permissions granted. Go to your Tools menu and choose Manage Users. Next, you're going to want to locate the user in question, highlight them, and click Edit User Information. Now click the Next button twice to get to the Add Permissions screen. In order to grant permissions to use the ACT Companion or any of the ACT Connect web applications, you must grant the permission titled Web API Access. Make sure this permission has been moved to the Added Permissions column. Once you've done that, click Finish and then close out of the Manage Users window. And now your users should be able to connect. Once you've logged in to the ACT Companion mobile app, now you're ready to begin using the ACT Companion app.